Lexi Russell writes, love your show. My boyfriend got me turned on to you guys, and now I watch it without him. Anyway, the National Smart Board woman. of Review was the <laughs> first... Like a question? <laughs> I mean, it was a really <laughs> weird way to phrase that. Anyways, anyway, the National Board of Review was the first critic group to put out their awards list, and they named Mad Max Fury Road Best Picture of the Year. Do you agree with that pick? Um, Mad Max Fear Road, <coughs> great film. I enjoyed it a great deal. It's not going to end up in my top three or top four. The, I, I mean, if you're going to ask me what was the best pure action movie of the year, it's Mad Max Fury Road. I, I had some issues. with. I thought it was a little bit thin in some other areas. But overall, I really enjoyed I think everybody at this table, we really enjoyed it. Not my top three. But I do have a problem with them naming it Best Picture. And here's why. Not because I wouldn't name it as Best Picture. But you look at what goes into making a movie the best movie it can possibly be, right? Now, follow this. The National Board of Review, they gave Best Picture to, to Mad Max Fury Road, but they gave Best Director, Best Actor, and Best Screenplay all to The Martian. Hmm. Hmm. They gave all Best Director, Ridley Scott, The Martian, right. Best uh, Actor, Matt Damon, Best Screenplay uh, was for by Drew Goddard for The Martian, so if you got a movie that you're saying, that movie has the best direction, the best acting, and the best screenplay, how then do you not say then that is the best movie? By definition then, by your own standards, that's the best movie. If the movie is, if best movie is the accumulation of all the parts, and you're saying this one movie is best director, best screenplay, best actor, well, what, what else did you need to make the other one the best picture? So not because, I mean, I, I don't know that I would have named Martian the best picture either. I'm just saying if you're going to say Martian is best director, best screenplay, and best actor, then logically speaking, how do you justify not then saying that's the best movie? So I'm just a little uncertain because of that. Anyway, Steph, I know you love yes. Mad Max Fury Road probably more than anybody else at this table. Yes. But I would say within that context of what you're saying, is there's all, they're leaving out, they're saying these three we say are best, but then they're not saying best costuming, best uh, special effects. Oh, there are effects. other elements. There are other elements. I'm just saying, like, I, I agree with you. It is a little weird that those those top three went to this one movie and then the overall went to this other movie. That happens very rarely in the Oscars. It is rare. It's yeah. rare, but <clears throat> for myself, Mad Max Fury Road is in the top three. For myself, I haven't seen The Revenant yet. There's some films that I, I cannot wait to see that I feel will you know move certain things around for me, hopefully, or maybe not. But right now, I loved Mad Max Fury Road. It's one of the top three movies for me this year, and that the National Board of Review gave it the uh, the, the top honor is pretty cool, I think. I mean, I don't think it's going to be the top on a, a lot of other you know big <laughs> award right. ceremonies. So it's cool that it got it. It deserves it, in my eyes, because it's a return to form of George Miller's amazing prowess as a director. I mean, it's thin on story, but that was cool with me. I don't need mm. a big story. I just needed this one amazing journey from point A to point B. And, and to me, was, probably the most unique film of the year. Very unique. I mean, it, yeah. it took so many risks and challenges that I give it props just for it almost being an experimental film on many levels. You know, so um, definitely. And hey, just before we get to Christian too, just the, le the other major awards uh, from the National Board of View. <clears throat> Best Actress went to Brie Larson for Room. Mm, wow. Best Supporting Actor went to Sylvester Stallone for Creed. Uh, Best Supporting Actress went to Jennifer Jason Leigh for The Hateful Eight. Best Original Screenplay went to Quentin Tarantino for The Hateful Eight. Best Adapted Screenplay, as we mentioned, was Drew Goddard for The Martian. And the Best Animated Feature was Inside Out. Anyway, Christian, your thoughts on this? Well, I mean, the first question I have for you is that, so who is, because you have in The Hateful Eight there, which obviously hasn't come out yet, too, were they considering Revenant as well? Were they considering Spotlight? Were they considering all these movies that, like, well, Spotlight's come out, but these movies that haven't come out yet? Well, we already know that Star Wars was not in consideration because Star Wars of, refused to give them advanced right, copies right. of it. So I don't know if Revenant was a part of that or not, or if they were and just got shut out. See, it's, it's, it's well, especially Spotlight's the one to me that there's no mention of Spotlight at all. And Spotlight, you're going to hear. Now, granted, we didn't see the nominee list. We're just right, seeing the winners. Right, right. Well, let's say, I mean, because Spotlight, you're going to be hearing about in the Oscars. And uh, going you're lots of Spotlight. Spotlight's one of the best yeah. movies of, of the year. Um, but in regards to Mad, Mad Max, Mad Max is a visual masterpiece. It, oh, yes. I mean, oh, it yes. is a movie that, like you guys said, it, it's different. It, The fact that this guy returned to the franchise he created and did what he did with it. Um, now, as far as being the best movie of the year, it's certainly not my pick for the, my favorite movie of the year, but it should be recognized. And what I really enjoy about these particular awards, when you hear something like Jennifer Jason Leigh and Stallone <laughs> and people that, that are winning, I think Stallone will get a nomination I agree. this year for the Oscars, but I don't think he'll win. I think he's got a chance of winning. Mm. No, I, I think mean, Tom him Hardy, and Tom Hardy, it's going to be a I tough race Tom Hardy. I think Tom Hardy and the Revenant's going to win. I think he's got a legit shot. 
Maybe so. I just what I what I see when I hear this list and see the people that won, I just go, you know what? Bravo to these. Even if I don't necessarily think right. that Mad Max should have won Best Picture, but bravo to them that these types of movies, the movies that most people here that are watching today and that watch the film fans go and see the the majority, like the big budget movies as well too those are the ones that win and it's not like an mtv awards right. thing. No, this is no, like a yeah. legit thing so because some of these movies will never get nominated or win in the oscars so right. it, that but so I, I actually applaud this list I think and it's, it's nice cool. to see brie larson getting some recognition too I, I, I we've had our eyes long term yeah. long time. Yeah. term 12 incredible as yep. I, i'm really happy to actually announce i don't know this isn't a spoiler but they're they're actually setting up to do Mad Max: the, the the Return. Like they're they're George Miller's in Australia. He said they're he's going to do two more. Yeah, but they're they're actually in pre production right now. Wow! So I'm really excited. That's great news, especially with them winning National Board of Review. I think that, that makes Warner Brothers feel a lot better about like we're about to put a lot more money into this next crazy movie. So. All right, over under sixty five percent. Over or under sixty five percent. The chances that Mad Max: Fury Road will get nominated at the Academy Awards for Best Picture. Oh, oh the over-under line is 65%. Schnepp, Ooh, over uh, or under 65%? Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> under 65%. But I want it to be nominated. Right. I just, I would like to see it nominated. But I'll say, you know, I don't, I'm saying it'll probably not get nominated. All right. I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over 65%. Uh, I'm going to go way under. It's, it's, it's I, the F, eight, nine movies that get nominated. I don't see it happening. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.